just a normal Saturday for us. Every Saturday, my children will go to Cordell for the availability of the Wi-Fi and the gym and the game room. The snow was just beginning to fall, so they will also play outside. They would be throwing snowballs already. To make her happy warm. Hopefully, they don't blow out too soon. It's been five months since a rookie police officer in Cleveland fatally shot 12 year old Tamir Rice. Mom. As the investigation continues, the boy's family and friends struggle to make sense of their loss. You know, I'm just normal. A single mom from the inner city of Cleveland just trying to, you know, make a way out. Now I'm out here fighting for justice for my son. I was very close with him. He felt like a little brother to me. We would swing on the swings, play tag with other friends, run around, and just make funny videos. He was goofy whenever I was around. Things that we always did in the summertime was chase squirrels and mess with his sister. The little boy, Devin, across the street, their friend, he usually a knock on the door on some Saturdays, ask the kids was they ready to go to the wreck. The plan was to meet up at the park and I had the toy gun. Then later on that day when we met up, I gave it to him. A while back, it got damaged and it wouldn't shoot BBs anymore. So I removed the tip safety part so it could just start shooting again. You know, I saw his face, but he's like pointing at everybody. Miss Evans, this is Miss Rice. I'm picking Tajay up early today. I'm right outside. Could you grab her and I'll come in and sign the book? Tamir and Tajay were fairly tall, so, you know, people could mistake them at any time, but they were still kids. It doesn't matter. And kids that plays with coloring books and Legos. When the Times visited the Rice family in early March, they had moved out of their home located just a block from the park where the shooting happened. Yeah, we don't want to see that neighborhood for real like that, not right now. A lot of memories. I just was ready to try to start healing just a little bit. Tamir's mother, Samaria, and his older sister, Tajay, were staying in an emergency shelter. You didn't really eat it. I know you will. <laughs> we ain't got nowhere to chill at, y'all. Unless y'all want to go to the library. I the family was homeless. This here is police headquarters. So their lawyer, Walter Madison, drove us to the quietest place we could think of. Is Tamir in that book? It says disasters. The, the traffic, true tales of death tragic. and of tragic, of destruction. I asked Tajay to go get a book. Tajay struggles with reading, so it's hard to get. I talked to Tamir about having toy guns and I told him it's just not allowed in my house. So I never bought him toy guns, not even a BB gun, not a water gun, not nothing. I don't know, maybe because with my mom and what I see my mom put me through and stuff. My mom went to prison at 89. Did so, you go to prison for? For um, manslaughter. That's what she was charged with. It was domestic violence though, a domestic violence dispute, you know, and she ended up shooting the guy and he died so I mean I I was a, a, a witness on her trial at the age of 11 and a half years old so you could just imagine what my life has been like I made a bad decision in 2012 which made my uh, record <laughs> not so good I caught a, a drug trafficking case I don't know what I was thinking my main thing was to make sure they stay at kids for as long as possible. When you see that video of how they sped up so fast, you would think a child would run. My son wasn't running, he was scared. You know what I'm saying? He was scared, like, you know, what's going on? Radio, um, shot fired, fell down. Um, black male, maybe 20. 
Two little boys came knock on my door and said, the police just shot your son twice in the stomach. They were like, oh, that's your brother. So I ran, I came up, two police officers tackled me, threw me on the ground, handcuffed me, and put me in a car, the same car that shot him. I kept on saying, you shot my brother, my brother's dead. I was feeling destroyed that how could this happen? He's only 12 years old. It feels as if I'm the one to blame. But mostly, it's the officer's fault because he just shot him. In March, the city of Cleveland stated in a legal defense to the family's lawsuit that 12-year-old Tamir was responsible for his own death. We are apologizing today as a city to the family. That phrasing caused a public outcry, and the city quickly adjusted its defense. For our, our poor use of words in our insensitivity. In the new language also cast blame on Devin Mims, Tamir's 16-year-old friend who gave him the toy gun with the orange safety tip removed. In early April, Samaria and Tajay moved into a new home they'd found with help from the shelter. This is still West Cleveland, but farther at least, from the park and the painful memories. I kept Tamir's pants. I had just bought him these. Yeah, my son was a big boy, but that's okay. Me and Ty J did these masks in the shelter with our grief counselor in the inside. I don't know why it's so hard for me to show emotion, but my son never had a chance and I'm still waiting on answers why and what happened. Five months later and this is shot. In shock. Okay. Well, come on.